Listen. Close your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Now, let us in. Let us take you to a place in your mind where you have never been. To see things you have never seen. Let us take you beyond radio. In this age, where what political side you choose seems to define your character, we join Natalie Johnson. A snowflake. A safe spacer. She finally had enough of all the hateful, if you don't love this country, move comments from her hometown of whatever Wyoming. Natalie has always been used to doing things instead of talking about them, so she left. Not for good. Not yet. But she did feel that a vacation from all this negativity would be a wonderful thing. We join her on a plane heading to the Czech Republic, where her Aunt Elena lives. She is listening to her headphones, falling in and out of sleep. The tide has turned and it all went wrong The garden's gone to hell Dead man on a dark river Excuse me He could never come to forget her she was... Uh, huh? What? Uh, sorry to wake you The pilot said we'll be landing soon Oh, <clears throat> thanks, I appreciate it First time traveling to the City of Silver? Actually... It's my first time traveling outside of the U.S. Well, hey, that's great. Yes, it will be. As long as we get this plane ride over quick. My first time traveling in a plane, too. <laughs> We're almost there. May I ask you why you chose to come to Kutnahora? Uh, I'm visiting my aunt. She has lived there all her life. Oh... Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna puke. Here. Use this. Okay. You're all right. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I've done that many times. I am so embarrassed. What do I do with this? A flight attendant will come pick it up from you. Here, let's change the subject while I get you a mint. Hmm. Since you're here now, let me suggest a place for you to visit. I've been there many times. It's beautiful and haunting and inspiring, and it's just so cool. Where? The Sedlec Ossuary. Ask your aunt about it, and I'm sure she'll tell you. Looks like we can get out of here. And please... Pardon my... I'm John Novak. I used to live and teach in America. I'm Natalie Johnson. Are you retired? Why are you here, John? I live here now. There is no respect for teaching or the craft anymore. Folks in the U.S. think that teachers are all liberals, which I am, who indoctrinate their students into some liberal philosophy that turn kids into terrorists. <laughs> exactly why I needed a break from there. And I'm from a red state, which comes with a ton of woes attached. Too many guns and a lot of hate. Ugh, 
Tons of white people who think they're discriminated against. <laughs> it was so nice to meet you, Natalie. You have a way to get to your aunt's house? I do. Taking a cab. Aunt Elena doesn't like to drive. Ah, uh, I see. I hope you have the most wonderful stay. You too, John. Thank you for being so kind. Thank you so much. I'm still sick. What the hell? Natalia, is that you? Are you okay? Oh, sweetie. Looks like you have some jet lag. Hi, Aunt Elena. I've missed you. I love you, sweetie. Here, let's get you inside. Okay, this tea is going to make you feel much better. Take a seat. Thank you. Oh, that is much better. Already. What is it? Ah, it is a fruit-flavored tea called Ovotsny Chai. And to drink it correctly, you want to smell the tea's nice aroma. <sighs> ah, then... Analyze its color and then stop just a few seconds to enjoy the aftertaste. This is real tea, not the dust you drink in America. <laughs> You've become a true tea connoisseur. Since when have you been into tea? I go to Kaurmir, the national tea festival, every year. I even take classes. Plenty of culture here to brag about to my favorite meat. That's so cool. I had no idea you were doing that. Speaking of culture, have you ever heard of the Sedlik Ossuary? Oh? Where did you hear of that? From a passenger I met on the plane. Oh, Natalia, you have to be careful who you talk to on planes. People, they are not to be trusted. Gotcha. So what about the Ossuary? Do you know anything about it? Oh, I absolutely love that place. We must go, well, when you are feeling up to it. Truly, Aunt Elena, I feel better already. I bet I'll be up for going in the morning after a good night's rest. Find off you at the bed now and we'll see in the morning, okay? Okay. I can't tell you how glad I am to be here. Me too. Good night, Natalia. Natalie wakes up in the morning feeling much better. Must have been the tea. Aunt Elena calls a cab to cart them over to the Sedlik Ossuary. Specifically, she calls Halo Taxi, a reliable and courteous taxi company. The others, not so much. Taxi drivers in the Czech Republic have become a scar because of their reputation for overcharging and dishonesty. We join the two in transit. The Sedlets Ossuary, it is home to the remains of 70,000 people who died during the plague in 1318 and during the Hussite Wars in the 15th century. Whoa. The bodies have been dismembered, defleshed, and reassembled into decorative features including a bone chandelier, chalices, and even a family crest constructed from human remains. That is so macabre. I can't wait. Well, you don't have to. We're here. Wow. It is beautiful. Just beautiful. We are looking at history. Now, let's go experience it. The two walk into the cemetery church of All Saints. Then... They travel underneath, where the bones come into view. The features of the ossuary include skull bunting, artfully draped between the beams, two large skull chalices, four baroque skull candelabras, six skull pyramids, and skull candle holders. They are surrounded by skeletons. The centerpiece chandelier is a collection of almost every bone in the human body, including seven arms formed from vertebrae with candle-mounted skulls 
The unusual design is said to represent a seven-headed beast, reminiscent of prophecies from the Book of Revelations. This is incredible. Oh, Aunt Elena, thank you so much for taking me here. I needed this escape. There is such a beauty to it. The art of death. <laughs> That's great. And you are so right. I am just awestruck. Oh, can I take pictures with my phone? Are you sure you want to, dear? Why not just let yourself experience it? That's a good point. Do what I do. I record experiences with my body. Huh? Put your pointer finger and thumb together while we are here. Then when you want to remember the experience, put them together again and you will remember. That is so cool. You are so cool, Elena. I love you. Tell me more about the ossuary. Well, the history is just as chilling as the decor we are witnessing. The skeletons are said to have originally been buried at the church cemetery, which was shot at the end of the 15th century. Following this, the dug-up bones were moved to the chapel and positioned in pyramids. In 1870, a local woodcarver named Frantisek Rint was asked to artfully arrange the bones and skulls into wondrous decorations. In order to create a uniform look for the building blocks, each skull was carefully bleached until it reached the same color. Natalie! No way! Who is this? Someone I met on the plane. In an awful way. Ugh. Well, hello, stranger. And this must be your Aunt Elena. Nice to meet you. Oh. Sweetie, are you okay? <laughs> Whoa! Still not feeling well? Damn, I guess not. All of a sudden... Are you okay? Um, dizzy. And a little woozy. Whoa! Uh, Oof, I gotcha. Oh, honey, you must be dehydrated. I will get you some water. I'll hold her up. Thank you. So glad you are here to help. I've got ya. Uh, how come this only happens when you are around? I'm so embarrassed again. Well, there is a reason for that. What are you talking about? I have been waiting for you here. I willed you here. What is going on? What are those sounds? Uh... There is a great power in this place. Something inside. Oh, I'm vomiting blood! Elena, help me! She can't hear you. She isn't here. Who are you? What do you want? I told you. I'm a teacher. What do you want with me? I'll tell you. My profession was no longer respected by my home country. They also stopped respecting the truth. The truth! So I came here and studied. I had to discover. Then I would show them all. I had to find out the truth. I studied all the religions, all the great works, all of them. I studied the occult and all of its practices. Then I found the ultimate truth within these walls. Truth within these very bones that surround us. Now my eyes are open. Now I'm more than no. <laughs> Now, I will share the truth with you. When we die, you think we go to heaven? That is not so. Just like the worlds bond out of chaos, so did the afterlife. Our bodies are everything. Our bones are everything. That is where the soul lies. All of the souls. All of the dead souls around the world. All of the dead souls around the universe. They wait. They dream. They need. Blood. Blood is what they need. Blood is what they want. Your blood will feed them. It is feeding them. See how your life essence is forced and ejected out of your body and flows, 
blows up to them. <laughs> they who have waited here as part of this wondrous collection of souls, waited here for you to feed them, Natalie. This is the truth I give to thee. Join us next time for another journey to a place in your mind where you have never been. To see things you have never seen. Let us take you beyond radio. You've been listening to In the Bones, an original radio play written and directed by Lance Madsey. Featured in the cast were Maria Olson, Rhiannon Skye McLean, and Troy Howe. I'm Trevor T. Trujillo, your host, and Bob Price was the voice. Original music by Christopher Otto and Lance Madsey. Original songs by Jeff Burnett, Christopher Otto, and Ben Slater. Original art by Caitlin Yurhammer. The show was recorded at Angry 26 Studios in Casper, Wyoming, and Frosting Studios in Los Angeles, California. Sound design and post-production services by Angry 26 Studios. This has been an Angry 26 radio production.